This video discusses how to create and send a new transmittal. Creating and sending a new transmittal is the way that you gather the data that you've entered into the program and send it to USBC headquarters. To, do, to begin the process, you want to go to Tools and Send Receive Data. This will bring you up to the screen that has all the data that you've sent in the past and it gets cleaned up through start new season. Now, the buttons at the bottom, let's kind of go through those. Uh, your new transmittal is the one that you want to press to create and send a new transmittal that will gather new data and send it up to headquarters. Delete transmittal is not to be used without assistance from the USBC WinLab support team. Resend, if you get into a situation where you create a transmittal and a batch doesn't have a set date, you can do a send and receive now, but resend actually sends the data again and shouldn't be done without support from the help desk. Reprint transmittal allows you to print a report again to see what was on it. And the print confirmation will allow you to see what the confirmation looks like. But this video mainly discusses the new transmittal. So we're going to go through the steps of a new transmittal by clicking on the button to start the process. Click on new transmittal and the first message that you get is get users off the system. This is mainly for associations that have networks where two computers are doing data entry at the same time. Now, that is a network situation and um, you want to make sure that the other person is off the system because you can't have two people entering at the same time when you're trying to transmit. So you want to make sure that all the users that are using the Windows program are off the system. For standalone users, just click next. And we'll do that. And then it asks you the data that you want to send. You have three options here. Uh, the send new awards application. The only time you really want to just send the awards you have in the system is if you're in the middle of leak processing and you're not ready to send memberships, you can use the new awards applications only option. But 99% of the time you're using the send all data that's changed since last transmittal. What that's going to do is gather all the data that's been entered into your computer and put it into a file. The resend all data option needs a password from USBC WinLand support. The reason being is it's, a, it's an administrative tool. We need it to be there, but you need a password to run it and that's not something that should be done without that support. So we're gonna proceed with send all data that's changed since the last transmittal. We're gonna click next. And now you get your print for transmittal report. It's very important to review this screen when you get the results out to make sure that what you're sending is what you mean to send. If there's an error at this point when you create this report and review it, you wanna stop and you don't wanna proceed because that information will get sent. We can't delete it, we can't fix it. It's something that we need to work with you if there's problems. So be very mindful of what we're doing on this step and make sure that you're reviewing the reports that we generate. So in this particular case, we have, set, we have the report options on the left. You've got the summary report, which generates a report that's very brief. It says 10 memberships at whatever price equals the grand total. It doesn't give names, doesn't give leads, it just gives you a summary report. And in this case, it's grouped by product name. So it'll say 10 standard merge, five local only, whatnot. It's a very brief report. The detail report will give you a breakdown and you can either break down by product and it'll give you names of every person you've issued your standards for, every person you've issued your local loanings for. The league and product will group the data by league. So in other words, uh, there are people out there that want to create a separate transmittal for every lead that they process. And you don't wanna do that, you wanna send one transmittal at the end of every day that you're working in the program. So this detail by league and product will break down the subtotals for every lead that you're submitting. So we're gonna look at that report next. 
Now it defaults, the output defaults to a printer um, because we want you to have a written copy of what you're sending. Uh, but we're going to do for the training uh, this, through the screen. So we're going to click next and the computer is going to go through and generate a report showing what's about to be sent to headquarters. So now in this particular case, we have, we're, we did it by breakdown by league and product. So these parentheses being empty means that these products were not sold through a league. So your associate local only and your associate standard, those were just sold through people and they don't pertain to a league and there's $13 gonna be charged for those two products. Now, in this case, we've done some processing in the money net mixers and this is a list of all the products that we've issued and the grand total for that leak. Now, if you go to the next page by clicking the arrow, you're going to see the grand total that's going to be deducted from your bank account is $221. Then below this, it's going to list out any achievements that you may have entered. And then they'll follow up with the batch number. So if this is the amount of money that you expected to send, you would close the report or print the report. And then you would answer yes to the output is satisfactory. As I mentioned before, if you answer yes to this question, the file is going to be generated and sent to headquarters. If there are errors, what you'll have to do is go back into the database after the file is sent, make the corrections and create and send a new transmittal to offset the incorrect data. So we're going to say that the output is satisfactory by answering yes. And then the next step tells you it's going to create the transmittal file. There's a couple steps to this section. It's going to create a backup, then it's going to create the transmittal file, and then it's going to create another backup. The reason for that is the data that you are gathering is going to be changed. It's going to be marked as sent. So we need a backup before and a backup after in case there's a problem. So we're going to click next and it's going to start with the backup. And again, these backups are put in the background. They're not something that you should rely on. We use them in an, in an administrative function if we need to. So now it's creating that backup file, as we said. Bear with me while it does its thing. And the next step it, it will take is it's going to create the transmittal file. And that goes through and looks at all the data, gathers it up, marks it as sent. and then it does another backup. And that's in case um, we need to refer back to that backup. Again, if you're using these backups, you're working with headquarters support, you're not doing it on your own. So now it's doing that backup again, and we'll wait patiently. And it should be just about done. And then it is going to give you the connection option screen. So it's going to tell you we want to send the file. We're going to click next, and then it's going to give you the connection options. Most of the time you're already on the internet, but if you need to dial up, you can, but there's very few that are doing that. So we're going to hit connect, and it's going to go through, and it's going to send the files. Also, when you're doing a transmittal, it always sends a full backup of your data. That's just to be protective of your data, we want to make sure that we always have a copy of it. And then you'll get the message that says how many files were sent and how many were received. And we'll click OK. The next section is about backing up. And we want you to always back up and it should be done to a memory stick. To do that, you click Next. Plug in a stick if you have one. And then you browse to it and you just pick the stick that you have plugged in and hit save. If the file already exists, it'll prompt you to replace it if you want to, fine. And then you're going to hit start and it's going to do that backup. The reason why you see all this information here is that's my, this is my support system. So just want to explain why we see all the other associations there. That's not something you'll see unless you have multiple associations if you're involved in a state or a local association, both. And it's doing that backup. And it's done.
Now, so we've just gone through the whole process of creating and sending a transmittal. If you want to check for a confirmation, you can click on the send and receive now. Send and receive now just does a check to see if there's any files that need to be sent and if there's any files sitting at headquarters for pickup. It does not, and I cannot stress this enough, it does not gather and send data that you've entered into the computer. All it does is check for files to send and files received. It does not generate new files. It's a big misconception out there, and I just wanted to clarify that. One other button to talk about is the upload backup. If you're experiencing problems, you can click on upload backup and that will give you the same type of prompts that we've just seen and it'll send a backup to headquarters. But again, keep in mind that every time you transmit, we get a backup of your data. One other thing that I wanna mention while we're talking about transmittal. The program is designed to allow you 20 days to enter something and send it to headquarters. If you get past the 20 days, you're going to receive a message. There is a prompt for the password. You don't need a password. So I want to stress that if you just read the message and click OK, it'll take you to this screen here, and then you can just do the new transmittal, and it'll create and send the data and meet the 20 day requirement. That being said, if you, have, if you haven't used your system in 20 days, you can do a send and receive now and get back in because you'll get that same 20 day message, but it'll be worded just a little bit differently. It'll say that you need to communicate. Just do the send and receive now and they'll let you back in. So when you get those 20 day messages, make sure that you do one or the other, if ever in doubt, just send a new transmittal and that'll let you back in. 